Hello viewers, welcome to our CRE session, the, 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 the fifth session on the topic of human sexuality. This is your teacher, Roger Pichira. Now, in today's class, we get to look at Christian teaching on male and female relationships. Remember, in our previous class, we did look at the traditional teaching on male and female relationships. Now, what do we expect by the end of the class? We do expect that we are able to discuss the Christian teachings on male and female relationships. Now, what is the teaching of the Christian? Or rather, what is the view of the Christian on male and female relationship? Now, the husband is the head of the family and should be loved by his wife. Like Christ loved the church. So, one, once a wife is loved, she should submit to her husband. Look at that. Meaning, the husband is the head of the family, right? And the wife should, uh, and he should love the wife, right? Now that uh, the husband loves the wife, now the wife is entailed or supposed to submit to the husband. So the, fa the, 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 the husband is the, always the head of the family. Look at that. Yes? The family, the, the father is the head. You can get to see that. Followed by the, the, by, by the, by the, by the wife, right? Then children. So meaning the father, the father or the husband is the, is the head of the family. Now both male and female are equal in a family, right? And they are co-creators of God, right? And they are co-creators of God. So Adam and Eve were created to complement each other. Likewise, men and women should love each other. Sorry. So uh, Jesus taught each man that that Jesus taught them that, that um, each man should have one wife, one man, one wife, one wife, one man. No, well, how should we just say that? We don't say one man, one wife. So we say one man, one woman, right? One woman, one man, right? So the man should have one wife, right? And the wife should have one husband. Good and and vice versa, right? So Jesus teaches on a monogamy, right? And like traditional African society, we get to look at that uh, they, they support polygamy, right? A man having several wives, good. But in the Christian teaching um, on male and female relationship, is that man should have one wife. Now, once a man is married, the husband, the husband's body belongs to the wife once a man is married I mean no, that is a conjugal right right the the wife owns the body of the husband right and the body of the of the wife belongs to the husband right and this is just to avoid immorality good this is just to avoid immorality now males and females are to let freely good but the youth are to avoid the temptations of sex not like the traditional african set whereby boys and girls were restricted from meeting right but for the christian and uh, teaching is that man uh, boys and girls they could freely meet they could freely mingle they could freely mix but they were to avoid a uh, sexual sex temptations for example fornication and all those other all those other uh, temptations relating to sex now there are no specific cause or duties right of male and female and relationship, relationships between sexes should be governed by love chastity respect self-discipline and self-control so let, 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 let me go back to a specific cause not like in the tradition, traditional african society whereby we had cause meant for men, we had cause meant for women, but in Christian view, right, they, they, they say that what a, what a man can do, a man can do better, right? You see that? We, we don't have specific, specific cause for that. Now, parents are to love their children, while children are to obey and honor their, their parents, right? Good. Remember from the book of Ephesians that uh, children obey your parents, that you are, you are, your life on earth uh, should be long. Right? That's what the Bible teaches us that children should obey 
their parents and the parents should treat the children with good uh, with respect and bring up the children in a godly in a godly way now class for our for our assignment can we get uh, get to state ways in which the church where state ways in which the church teach young young men and women what does the church teach young men and women uh, on how to relate to each other. So how do they relate? What is the teaching of the church on how female and male get to relate? For us, for our, for our reference, get to refer to KLB, CRE Student's Book for the third edition, right? You can contact us via contact address on our SMS line, right? YouTube, you can watch our, 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 our lessons, LM TV. You can also watch our live lessons at Limit TV on Facebook and also send your feedback on Twitter at Limit TV underscore Kenya.